Hi, I'm Shade, and today we are talking about Midnight Robber by Nalo Hopkinson. I didn't know what to expect when I started this novel. I picked it up, not really based on plot, because I hadn't read anything about it, but based on the author, I'd read that Nalo Hopkinson writes amazing science fiction. It's set on a colony planet called Toussaint, which has been settled by Caribbean people and they have a very advanced society, everything is automated, you don't really have to work unless you want to, and their lives are kind of organised by this superior computer system they have called um, Granny Nanny, and um, it runs on the Anansi web. There's a young girl there, she's seven, called Tan Tan, and she lives a very privileged life. Her father is mayor of the town that she lives in but then he commits a crime and he is exiled and he decides to take his daughter into exile with him which is your first red flag about what his character is like because really who takes somebody they love into exile with them they get exiled to this alternative dimension called new halfway tree where it's very primitive there's no technology, no servants, um, no real rule of law. Life on New Halfway Tree is a very frontier life. It's food, water, safety, building fire. Um, there are creatures on there that have only existed in folklore for Tan Tan, some friendly, some not, that she now has to figure out how to manage living alongside. Nana Hopkinson weaves in tales of folklore figures like dry bones and weaves their stories into this sort of adventure survival quest and the whole thing is just massively epic. The world building is stunning and inventive. Nalo Hopkinson really goes into detail about how every aspect of this world works and it's amazing. The story is written in um, patois which you you know you get used to very quickly but it just adds just another cultural dimension to it. It's also nice to see a futuristic society that includes people of colour because usually um, you know sort of science fiction stories stories somehow magically in the future there are <laughs> people of color have disappeared so it's nice to say you know see a story that says oh, in a thousand years this is what we think Caribbean culture might look like and if I had to give a really short summary of the story I would say it's about a girl who grows up with privilege and slowly has everything that she loves stripped away from her which is very bleak but it's a lot richer than that Tan Tan's childhood hero is this folklore figure called the Robber Queen who is like a sort of noble bandit who rights wrongs and Tan Tan sort of has to embody the characteristics that she admires in this woman in order to survive in this really harsh world that she's now in. I do want to add a trigger warning, there is sexual abuse in the book and I wasn't expecting it and it's quite disturbing um, but yeah just be aware. But it's it's an incredible book. Watching Tan Tan developed from this young girl who grows and flourishes into this you know this woman who experiences a lot but is really molded by the things that she goes through and comes out stronger um, it's very powerful so I would recommend Midnight Robber by Nalo Hopkinson